the one thing highly productive people don't do. You and I know that to make progress in life, we don't just have to be busy working, we have to be productive. We have to get things that matter done and we have to do it very fast so as to meet up with our goals and aspirations in life. Unfortunately, most of us are not productive. Our non-productivity isn't necessarily because we are lazy. Instead, it's probably because we don't know how highly productive people live their lives. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the one thing highly productive people don't do. Now, if you're new here, consider subscribing so you won't miss other interesting videos like this one. Now, let's get into it. If we talk about productivity, what and what do you think we need? First, to be productive, we need a brain that's alert and at its best state. Second, we need a body that's not tired. Third, we need an environment that's free from distractions and probably noise. Now, think about that. When is the best time to get all of these three? When is the best time to get all of these three? The answer is very simple. In the morning. Your morning is by far the most important part of your day and that's the reason why the highly productive people never waste a minute in their morning because one hour in the morning can sometimes equal to five hours in the afternoon. If you really care about progress and productivity, you must learn how to maximize your morning. The highly productive people never waste a minute in their morning because that's the best time in the day. We've heard the stories of several successful people who wake up as early as 5 am but you really don't have to wake up that early if you are not a morning person. Instead, you must learn how to make judicious use of the first 3 to 5 hours of your day. Now, let me give you some ideas. 1. Can you stay off the social media in the morning? Except you're among the few who make money on social media, there's actually not so many reasons why you need to be on social media the first thing in the morning. For so many people who cannot control themselves, social media is the first thing to see in the morning. You may think, let me just check my last night's post and see who liked it. But after checking that post, you see some comments you don't like which poison your emotion and so reduce your brain's ability to remain positive and powerful. From there, you go to your timeline and start going through other people's noise and photos. Again, there's hardly anything to inspire you here. Instead, your precious time is being wasted on little stuffs that don't matter to your productivity. 2. Can you have 2-3 to three goals? Each morning when I wake up, I know what my to-do list contains and it's never complex, just 2-3 to three very important things. If you think about it, only a few things actually matter to us and our progress. Most things we spend our time on are average things, things that really don't matter. When you wake up each morning, ask yourself, what are the 3 very important things I should do today? If you are in control of your time, start with those things and say no to any other thing including the internet if possible. Focus on these 3 very important things every day of your life and you will have more progress than most people. 3. Wake up some minutes earlier than usual If you are an employee who has to resume at a particular work in the morning, you can wake up some minutes earlier than usual, let's say 30 minutes. If I were you, I will use these 30 minutes strictly for myself. I may read some good books, meditate or pray. I may use this time to pay attention to my mind and understand the world around me better. When you get used to 30 minutes, you can now try an hour. 4. Sleep earlier than usual To protect your morning, you might want to sacrifice the late night shows and movies. You may have to go to bed earlier so that you can wake up earlier than normal and maximize your morning. 5. Silent your notifications We are living in a world filled with too many noise. We've grown so bad that we start worrying if we don't catch up with everything will remain irrelevant but that's not true. That's not true because most things that are happening around us aren't that important. For instance, must you see everyone who likes your social media photos immediately they do? So why do you need notifications for such? 
Must you read every WhatsApp message immediately? So why do you need those notifications? If at all you need notifications, can you forgive your morning by having your notifications on silent in the morning or put your entire phone in silence the first three hours of the day if your business doesn't depend on it? 6. Beware of marketers who make money from your non-productivity Maybe I'm guilty of this myself because I'm an entrepreneur and market my product in places where people waste time. But you really want to be careful about people like us. Hmm? <laughs> now, here's the game. The reason why Facebook is making billions of dollars is because billions of people are not disciplined enough to say no. The reason why hundreds of thousands of entrepreneurs are making gazillion of dollars is because the rest of the population consume everything even things that are of no use to their minds. You really have to be careful about how you're being exploited by the marketers who are happy because you waste your own time. Believe me, most of them don't waste their own time. Start asking yourself, what do I gain by spending 3 hours on social media every day? Does anyone make profit from my excessive waste of time? you soon see how someone is smiling to the bank because you waste your own time and you won't like that. 7. Don't procrastinate the hard things So many people are busy but busy doing nothing because they are busy on little and convenient things and procrastinate the real things. To be productive, you have to do the opposite. You have to wake up in the morning to attack the toughest things, the most important things to drive home the result first because your one hour in the morning may be more valuable than the five in the afternoon. In conclusion, the only one thing that matters in life is progress and to make progress, we have to be productive. For us to be productive, we have to respect our mornings because the morning is the best period of the day. An hour in the morning could be far more valuable than 5 hours in the afternoon and that's why we have to be extra careful about how we spend our mornings. Thank you very much for watching our videos. Would like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. Now, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Look at your screen to see two other videos we handpicked for you to enjoy next. We love you.